many, 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 many of you have told me to play Factorio and other games like Satisfactory that I thought I'd give this one a try. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to Automation Empire, a game available now on Steam that we're giving a shot for literally the very first time. So I've never really played a game like this before, so I'm going to rely on you to give me some helpful tips down below, and I'm sure you'll be able to see and know things that I have no idea about. So let's build an empire, that empire being Raptoria. So go ahead and spam that glory to Raptoria down below in the comment section and I will heart your comment and thank you everybody for tuning in today leaving a like and showing your lovely lovely support let's go ahead and start a new game and see what it's all about looks like we've got uh, different planets to choose from so I'm assuming different maps where we'll be able to gather materials and basically build a co economy and a colony so let's go ahead and start our new colony today again literally my first time playing so let's go ahead and start Raptoria starter mode on I guess we'll start with a little tutorial and see how it goes now uh, again this is literally my first time playing so we'll see exactly what the game has to offer and if it's good I don't know if it's an early access or not but we'll figure it out as we go along split valley work around a dried up riverbed uh, jutting through the landscape and splitting it in half goal is 25,000 kilograms a three-month weight output so I assume we're doing some mining here no sound effects or anything in the game so far. No music or anything. But it looks like, oh, this is cool. So it looks like we are we are doing some mining here. And it looks like it's loading onto a flatbed truck to be shipped all the way down to uh, somewhere else. So it looks like there is, a, I guess, a delivery thing here. So that's kind of cool. So it looks like there's a power plant here providing power to this mine. This is very similar to, uh, actually, this seems to be a nice step between Satisfactory and also Factorio. So it's kind of like a 3D... Uh, Factorio, but not quite satisfactory. That's kind of cool. All right, let's get started by building some stuff. I'm assuming down here is where we build things. We can build a drone, a drone bay to build more, and also a research bay. That seems like it's going to be quite useful. My, uh, I had a girlfriend once that was a scientist. I called her my research bay. Yes. All right, let's go ahead and put that down, see what we can do. Uh, let's see, water connected, no. Power connected, yes. So it looks like we're going to have to build some uh, water then to get that going. So it looks like there's a pow power station but no water station. So in order to get that, we need to unlock that. So let's see what else there is to do. We've got a crate maker. So that apparently, uh, oh, I see. So materials are drilled up and then transported over to the crate maker. And then that uh, basically allows the drone to pick that up. I feel like we need another drone. This one seems to be a little slow. By the time he gets to where he's going, uh, another box is already waiting. There we go. So we should get two drones ready. There we go. So they're working uh, double efficiency now to load that truck up and it looks like the truck can hold six containers of material so let's try to build another mine then so this is kind of all self-explanatory now it looks like there's also transfer tubes so we'll be able to also do drilling for oil or other types of materials like that hold on a second hold on who is that at the door uncle sam what are you doing here get out of here it's america trying to show up okay let's try to do a um, mine then so it looks like we want the mining rig and that can actually export uh, all the other materials. So it looks like we're literally connected to the power lines here. It's old school power lines. These look like they were built in the 30s. Then we'll need to put a crate maker at the end of that. And then it looks like the drones are intelligent enough to come over and pick that up. Unfortunately, we don't have enough cash, so we need to send out more um, trucks in order to deliver. So are these two connected? No. So it looks like we need to build a little pipe here, a uh, transfer tube. So can I actually move this around? Active crates, one out of 30. Oh, wait a minute. What does that mean? Eight out of 30. I wonder what that means. Does it need to make more crates, or how does that work? So we've already goofed up because I need to move this around. So let's see if we can... Is there a way to move? Okay, that's not a move option. So we could probably destroy... So, okay, we can get it for the exact price that we built it for. So 15000 to build this. But unfortunately, we're going to need a little transfer tube. So I need a little bit more cash. Maybe we'll delete that other one if we need to. So we want a load station, which is there. So the drones will be able to get that. So we just need a one, one little thingy for a load station. On load station. Oh, it seems to be maybe going the other way. Oh, accepted resources. We can also sort. So that's neat. So let's see. Drone priority here is high. I guess we'll make this high priority too so that they go here. Okay, so that's the difference in the coloring. So that's interesting. Although I feel like we should rotate this. Uh, but let's get the transfer tube connected. So that requires... Uh, let's see if there's a transport tube here. There it is. Transfer tube is what it's called. So let's get rid of that other mine. We can't quite use that yet. And let's go ahead and put our transfer pipe here. Transfer tube. Okay. So now, Oh, and excellent. We now see uh, boxes coming out. Very good. Even though it's rotated the wrong way, it seems like they've still got materials coming out. However, we need this guy to come over here. Maybe we need another drone. So drones are 4,000, so let's build another one of those. I wonder if there's a drone capacity. Can we actually tell this drone to work on this uh, area? I wonder if you can assign drones, like one to one. Uh, area and one to the other. All right, looks like everything is being supplied power-wise, but I feel like something's amiss here. 
Uh, looks like this is, uh, ah, it's pointing up and that one's pointing down. So we should change the, uh, I guess it's the other type of, uh, uh, other type of conveyor belt. So I guess that's called an onload station. So we built the load station before. Maybe we want, we want an onload station. That one's pointing up, but it seems to be taking the boxes down for some reason. Okay, but now the, the, these match. Okay, perfect. The drones are coming over. Excellent. However, way too many go into the same one. I don't know if we can assign. That'd be helpful. But it doesn't look like I can assign, like, two to each. That would be a little bit more uh, helpful. Looks like there's trains in the game. That is awesome. We've also got roads, so we've got the ability to make more highways that come through the map. So let's go ahead and get started by building another uh, mine. So let's go ahead and start that. It's already connected the power. We're going to need another, let's see, what was the price of that? An onload station is 2500 plus another, uh, let's see, another 1000 for the transfer tube. So let's go ahead and build the rest of that stuff. So transfer tube there. And then we also need the crate maker. So that way it can be put into uh, some sort of a transferable thing. Wow, that's, look at that. That's $15,000 for the crate maker. That's expensive. So it looks like everything's being loaded onto the truck. There's no way to see how much the truck is worth. But look, at there's all these different materials, including co uh, coal, iron ore. Uh, coal ore. Oh, okay. Then we can also refine it into coal and iron. Then also steel plates, capacitors, gold ore, gold, gold fuel, crude oil, oil, ash, ethanol. Red grain, red grass, green grass and green grain, and then also grain meal. So that must be something like flour or whatnot. All right, the trucks are coming through quite nicely, and we've got a lot more material to deal with. So there seems to be other materials over here. I also thought I spotted some gold somewhere in them hills, but it looks like I, I didn't. Uh, these, I don't know if these, okay, there might be different uh, types of material under here. Oh, I would assume this is gold over here. This must be where I saw that. So essentially what we need to do is build our factory further and further away from the highway or build the highway uh, that comes a little closer. Like, for example, we can make a road over here, a loading station, then go back to the road, which might be good because that might be a little more of an affordable option. But these trucks are hella slow. Look at how slow that truck is. I can barely hear it. Let's turn up the sound a little bit. I want to try to turn up those, uh, turn up those sounds just to hear. Okay, ooh, that might be a little too loud. I hope it doesn't uh, bop your ears off. Oh boy, let's try to maybe bring that down a little bit more. I thought there'd be music, but I guess not. Okay, so it looks like these drones are loading things pretty effectively. What else do we have? We have a drone bay. Ah, pr provides wireless computation for four drones. Houses a neural network. Okay, so we can have up to four drones. So let's buy one more then to make sure we hit our maximum on drones. I guess that'll be a good call. We will need uh, more drones to load those trucks. Okay, now is there a way we can do this? Okay, the drone bay doesn't have any sort of planning. Could we find water anywhere? It looks like we need to find water in order to supply our people. Let's see if there's a way to sort the map. Uh, if there's a way to tell what we... Oh, here's research here. Research upgrades. Oh, okay, so we can actually get them to... What does this do exactly? Uh, highway minecart speed. Uh, cra okay, we've got drone speed here, it looks like. Uh, we've also got... Uh, ooh, plus two minecarts per truck. Oh, that's very expensive. 150,000. <gasps> Look at that. We can also get a train. This is going to be cool. I don't know if this game is multiplayer, but I would love that. Is there a way to take out a loan just so I can see more of the, the game? But I like all the options of all the different maps. So it looks like <laughs> we need to make, within three months, we need to make 35,000 uh, kilograms in order to, like, complete the objectives. So, oh, it looks like these guys are kind of sitting around not w with no truck. I wonder if we can make multiple uh, parking lots for trucks. Let's see if there's a way we can do that. Oh, we, we get access to the train now. Uh, these are mine tracks. Uh, serves as a track for a single train of mine carts. Uh, carts, when they reach the end of a track, reverse their direction. Each cart can hold four crates worth of resources. Okay. I wonder if we can make some sort of a loading station, but I don't know exactly how we would go about that yet. For now, it seems dr drones might be the most affordable option. Uh, we also have a transfer tube, but it doesn't look like we have any sort of uh, mine for water yet. Unless the mining rig, coal ore, I, I don't see anywhere for water. We need to power this thing, though. I want to be able to do research. Although we can claim that. Nope. Doesn't do anything yet. Okay, what else do we have? Onlocks here. Oh, more stuff to work on. Ah, look at this. We've got, oh, that is cool. A, a claw train. So it'll actually, like, a claw arm will come over, pick up stuff, and deliver it. Oh, yeah, cargo rockets? Oh, dude. Okay. Now we're getting into some real heavy stuff. This is, this is cool. All right, let's try another road pit stop. Can we have more than one truck at a time? Trucks stop here. Wait to get loaded with crates of resources to be sold. Drones or claw trains can be set to drop off the crates uh, of the trucks that stop here. Okay, if we go with that option, though, it's going to be more expensive, so we've got to keep things, you know, on the cheap. So let's try uh, Let's try to build another pit stop here. Uh, can we build another one, like, maybe off to the side? Okay, so we can build, like, another one here. Is there a way to rotate, though? 
It looks like we can only build one here. Oh, R is the way to rotate. Okay, so we could build another one, like, right there. Uh, too bad we can't build, like, a... St Wait, can I build one here next to the other one? No, we can't. All right. But I could build one here if we make the road connect. Let's see if we can make a little road that connects like this. <laughs> you have to use these little road pieces that are already kind of prefabbed. Uh, let's see here. Is there a way to rotate it the other way, though, so it goes to the other direction like that? Oh, I see. It considers it to be one full piece, so I don't think I can actually build it off here. We'd have to build it over here, at the very least. Okay, so let's try to put down another one before that truck comes. Oh, too late. We have to wait till he passes. So it looks like only tr one truck can be on the map at a time. So if we build another stop, hopefully that allows us to have two trucks. Uh, drone priority. Okay, so let's see if two trucks can come now. We'll have it load that one first, and then I guess this will be our secondary priority. Load that one second once this one's done. And I wonder if we can get a more bigger storage area for this. So let's try this. There's load and unload stations, but I can't make the conveyors come out further. But we could do mine carts. But I don't know if... Oh, perfect. Look at a second truck is coming. That's awesome. Very cool. I need to figure out a way to make those longer. Uh, is there any more mines around here? Oh, there are more, more mines here. But I'll need to build another uh, station, and that's going to be super expensive. So if we build another drone bay, that's already bringing us down to 19,000. Then we'd probably have to build another power station. Let's see how much power we're consuming. Uh, looks like 13 out of 40, so we got quite a long way to go. Oh, I didn't even finish this position, of course. I forgot all the money on that one. There we go. Perfect. Thanks for the reminder. I'm sure you were yelling at your screen. All right, let's go ahead and try this one now. Uh, right there should be good. Perfect. And then let's put this one on high priority, too. I mean, I guess they should all just be the same priority, because whenever there's one that's available to load, just go for it. I feel like we should get some more drones. That'll make our uh, ability a little bit more uh, quick in, in loading and unloading. However, I just don't know how to... I wish I could assign them to each. I don't see an option for that yet, but I might be missing that. Let's try to do another drone center, though. Four drones is good, but more the more the merrier, I guess. Let's try to rotate this here and tuck it in right on that side. Perfect. Now we get four more drones. So now we have eight capacity down there at the bottom. We can see that. So let's put down some more drones. Excellent. Glory to Raptoria. Fantastic. Oh, and wow, we're making lots of money from these trucks. Good job, everybody. All right, let's keep going with the drones. Build three more of those. If we build one more, we'll be at our capacity again. So now we can load these trucks uh, super fast. I want to make some sort of a, a area, though, to... Um, it doesn't look like I can make these uh, stations longer, can I? If I make a load station longer, it doesn't seem to let me make it longer than just one. Let's try, though. Maybe we can make it a, a multiple. Ah, okay, so we can make these even longer. So that leads a little bit more storage capacity. So these should be on-load stations. So as in they're on-loading the cargo from the, the conveyor over to the trucks. Oh, man, we're going to have a lot. Look at these drones come over. All right. Let's keep extending the length here. Wow, those are very expensive. 2500 for each one of these little sections. That is a pretty penny. All right. Ooh, drains are, dr the drains are bumping into each other. I mean, the drones are bumping into each other. Oh, no. All right. Let's keep going with the extendo. So we'll extend these to maybe like four in length. I don't know if we need to spend more money. There's obviously more efficient ways to do this, but we also need to research them. And I'd like to try the uh, train method, the minecart. But I don't know exactly how we would get those on there. The drones would just drop them off onto the minecart, and then it would go a short distance. We may as well just have the drones transport it. All right. So I'm assuming maybe our next goal will come in as soon as we're making 35000 Perhaps there's going to be more goals to extract this stuff. Now, what exactly is this? I think we're transporting coal right now. Is there a way to know? I can't exactly tell. It looks to be like stone to me, even though these uh, markers are darker than over here. So is there a way to tell what kind of material we have? Uh, let's see what it's mining. Currently mining coal ore. Okay. But then there's no way to actually tell what this resource is. I can't click on that. So we'll have to find out what that is. Uh, we can also plant vegetation. Oh, so we can do farming too and load that onto trucks. That's cool. All right, let's extend one more little length for our loading station, or unload station in this case. I like this game so far. Very nice. I want there to be uh, more options to load up the trucks and whatnot. The drones are a little slow, but I bet with research we could probably speed them up and make them more effective. So we need water connected to that to finish some of our research. But it does look like we can do basic research. However, it's extremely expensive. The uh, most affordable upgrade, I guess, that we can get is the uh, faster trucks. What is this? Or more frequent trucks. Truck interval is faster. But it seems like we've got just enough so far. Hmm, okay, well, let's see. Now we're transporting, uh... Oh, this tells us the weight of each individual box. So in this case, we're transporting coal ore. So it's 10 kilograms per. 
I think. Okay. And what do we have here? Recipes. So if we drop coal ore into a refiner, we can make coal out of that. Well, the refiner needs to be unlocked. So let's go to the unlocks for that. And it looks like it's just going to take money for that. So we have enough money here, but can I unlock that refiner factory? Uh, it doesn't look like I can click on it. It takes 20,000 R, which is research points. So we need to get this up and running. So how do we get water? Connecting water in, uh, enables interior water cooling. Increases research speed by 10%. Oh, it doesn't need to be used. Water just makes it a little faster. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Researching with specific resource types is required to unlock certain technologies. Oh, wait a minute. We can put stuff into these pipes. I see. So we can actually make one of these uh, pipes transfer over to here. So we can skim a little off the top. Okay, let's try that then. So let's try to put a transfer tube here. Transfers resources from one structure's ground port into another. Okay, so we build this and this. So we want it to go this way. Port doesn't output. Oh, what about here? Ah, oh, there we go. All right, and then I want to import here. Ah, very good. We're, we're getting it. So I guess if we, uh, if we put... Wait a minute, how does this work? Transfer tube. Uh, can I... Oh, this is going to be strange. Wait, how do I... Uh-oh, this is going to be weird. I guess we have to have the drones do this, then. So we have to have a loading... Wait, that doesn't make sense. How would I get that back in there? How do I get it to go into a tube? Once it makes it into a crate... This is going to be interesting. These don't seem to be connected, either, so I'm not certain. Wow, we're unraveling the mysteries here. It was quite obvious, YouTuber. Okay. Well, it's not obvious to me at the moment, but this is going to be exciting as soon as we get it figured out. I love all the little options for the conveyors, too. Uh, transfers the resource, uh, resources from one structure's ground port to a step conveyor or mine cart. Oh, one picks it. Ah, that's the option we want. So we want this, don't we? Uh-oh. Or do we not? Let's see. Maybe we can do this instead. So we want it to go from here to here. That doesn't seem to be connecting. Oh, but we can tell it to skip every so often, so that way it goes over to the delivery port. What I'm trying to do now is find a way to transfer po from point A to point B, but what is the game's mechanic to do that? We've got water pipes, so that's something we can get in the future for faster research for cooling. And we can't really necessarily do minecarts if I can't figure out how to do that. Hmm. All right, so it seems like the transfer tube is not the option, and the other tube is not the option. This one, the transfer tube. It can't go from here to here, can it? Let's try it. Oh, man, we're unraveling the mystery. Luckily, we get most of our cash back from doing that. Ah, that was the way to do it. So we want it to go from there to here. Uh, there. So I want it to go from uh, dropping off the cargo to this, but it doesn't seem to work. So let's try this. Maybe there needs to be a longer pipe in between. So transfer tube. These seem to not la latch into each other. Don't connect. To oh, wait. Transfer tubes don't connect to transfer tubes. Oh, that doesn't uh, make sense. Is this just a shorter transfer tube? Oh, and if they don't connect to each other, then there's we can't transfer it via, via tube. So that's confirmed. So we need to do this. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, I want it to go this way, and I want it to drop down into, like, a conveyor. So this converts it, transfers resource, uh, resources from one structure's ground port into another structure's ground port. Well, I want it to go from there to there. Hmm. I need to, I need to figure out how to get it from the mine to the research center. Oh, man. Let's see. There's also small containers that do storage, which is great, but that's not exactly what we want to do. That won't go the full way. However, that might be useful, though. Let's try to put one of those there. Let's do a quick $10,000 one. Okay, so we can have those overlap. That works. But apparently transfer tubes don't connect to transfer tubes, so I can only do that once. So once we go from there, then I want to be able to put it onto a conveyor, but that doesn't seem to work. If I build it there, they don't overlap. And that one doesn't work either. And these can't overlap. Interesting. Okay, let's try the other one then. Let's try the crate maker. So the crate maker will work, but it'll make it into a crate, and I want to put it in there via piping. Hmm, interesting. Let's try the, uh, going through all of our options here to try to find the correct solution. Hmm. Let's see if it says anything more. Research points, okay, it generates points. So if you remember when we played Rise of Industry, it's also kind of the same thing where we need to uh, be able to uh, deliver raw resources for them to do research on. Kind of cool. If you press E, it lets you cycle through all the things. That's kind of neat. Oh, is there stuff being stored here yet? Uh, zero out of 40. Okay, so is there a way I can tell it to go over here? Uh, let's see. On 
on or off? What if I turn this off? Will it put some in storage here? Let's see if that works. Ah, it does put some here. So there's no way to split. But this one, uh, we're going to have to start uh, siphoning off the top for research. So that's cool. Oh, wait, is there more here I can cycle through? It doesn't look like I can... Doesn't look like I can cycle through here. There's not more options for us. Hmm, I need to figure out how to get this there. I can't just continue to make it go uh, from, like, tube to tube, can I? How come I can't transfer this over via piping? That would be so much easier. And it seems to be the obvious solution, but it's not. How much money have we made now? Wow, almost $100,000. And look at that, they're loading up the trucks really fast. Very good. Good job, drones. I think we need even more. More and more drones now. Let's do another uh, set of drones to transfer faster. Drones eventually will be obsolete as we have a big network connected. Once we have all of our like conveyor belts and stuff, we'll be have much faster efficiency. But this is a good, cheap solution for the start. And that's what we're striving for eventually. Let's go for some more drones. Where are those drones at? There you are. Perfect. So we'll go ahead and put some of these on higher priority. Let's put this one on a higher priority. And then we'll put this one on medium. And then we'll put this one on basically a low priority, just in case one happens to come out of there. Perfect. All right, now, this is getting quite full at 8. Oh, we'll have tons to research already. Perfect. So contents, it can process 8 at a time, so we might be able to build multiple research centers. Maybe I should just build this closer. I guess maybe that will be our option for the start. Let's go ahead and recycle this, then. doesn't look like I can make it that close, so let's just try to move the research center over here, then. There we go, that seems to be the better option for now. And we'll build a little power line. So I wonder what the solution to be to connect things further would be. I'd like to connect multiple tubes, but it seems like you have to build them on top of each other. So now we're starting to generate research points. So we can put another uh, research item over here. Now that we've got more uh, income and such, like, let's build a transfer tube first. So I guess we have to just build it like this. You can only go one away from the main source. So we'll have to kind of pick and choose a little bit. Well, that doesn't seem to contain too many. But what we can do is transfer these over here to this one and then back into the container. So that'll be good. Let's put down another research bay. There we go. And another uh, power line, too. Let's see if we can keep things a little somewhat organized. There we go. Oh, it doesn't connect. Uh, well, that's strange. Seems like it was just one too many squares away. There we go. Okay, so now we've got multiple research... Uh, sites generating research points, so now we should be able to unlock that. I solved the mystery! Yes! A little trial and error. That's so exciting when you, like, find a way to make it work. I, I love that. It's, it makes me very excited to see. All right, a lot of these drones need to continue working on the delivery. We need money as quickly as possible, so it's good to see plenty of our drones free and ready to go. So the moment a crate comes out, they're ready to go. Now, I wonder if we could build some more over here, but let's start working on our mining. Wonder if the way oh there's a way to make that faster. So we have zero research points so far. So it seems like we can claim research points. No. Uh, research points able to be claimed once they the fill up the bar to the blue notch. Oh, okay. So once we filled this up to the blue notch, then we get to claim four thousand research points and another two thousand research points. So that's actually quite helpful. But we need to connect more stuff to these. Uh, at least we've got a lot of cash now. Although I wonder if they can only process one resource at a time. So let's give that a shot. Let's go over here now and tr try some new mines. So let's build a mining rig here. And then uh, actually we'll have to have a separate research center for that, won't we? How much is this connected to? 16 out of 40? All right, let's continue to use this power over here. Doesn't seem like you can go very far away from the uh, each power line before it's uh, overextended. So we'll connect here. So this will be our research wing then for Raptoria. So glory to Raptoria for that. Looks like we don't need to build any more of those. We can just build a... Uh, I think it's just one research bay to one mine is good enough. So let's do that. Luckily, building these are, are quite cheap, actually. So we'll put all of our money into research until we've got that done. Uh, must have another research dome in proximity. Oh. Okay, so we have to build them kind of close to each other. Strange. What are all these rules? Okay. So let's see. I guess we have to... So I guess we can't build anywhere. So I can't just build over here, can I? I can't just, like, start mining over here. Looks like we can, but we'd have to make a whole infrastructure to get it across that uh, pit somehow. So that's going to be an interesting challenge in the future. So let's have our research domes overlap. So we'll build one there. Perfect. So then that overlaps the research and should give us some more. So what are they researching here? Let's see what's being pumped into that. So right now, we've got zero research, but we got... Uh, contents 8 out of 8, contents 6 out of eight, 5 out of 8, okay. 
We want to try to finish research as quickly as possible. So far, so good. So they are researching iron ore. Okay, so if it's a, if it's a light-colored rock, it's iron ore. If it's a dark-colored rock, it's coal ore. Eventually, we can uh, refine that. So the first thing we want to unlock, then, would probably be the refinery. So let's go to the uh, unlockable tab. So we want 20,000 research points to unlock that. That's what we want. That's going to that's gonna give us big O money. We want big O money. That's my rapper name. All right, let's go ahead and build another mine here so we can finish up the, uh, finish up the uh, research as quick as possible. So let's go for another research dome. Now, research costs us money, too, but I think we're making plenty from those uh, wonderful little uh, deliveries from our drones. So the drone, drone team is doing good. Excellent. And it looks like this one is pointed the right direction, so that's good. Let's make sure this one is, too. I think we'll build this one down here if we can. Let me try that. Does that work? Uh, barely. I have to uh, build it over there. Darn, because they need to overlap those little squares. That's so annoying. Uh, but we can build a small one there. So let's build a small transfer. There we go. And that one's connected too. Very good. And then we should be able to build a third one. And then we'll be able to start refining the uh, coal ore. I better not go overboard. If I do more of these, it could cost us money rather than make us money. So we'll uh, eventually maybe get rid of these two and then start uh, working iron ore for research. That might give us more research points. Let's see. These give us uh, 5,400. This gives us 11 and 14. Oh, this is perfect. So then when we f finish our first job, it's going to take 20,000. So these two should get us close, actually going over. Then eventually we can get stacked conveyors. We get uh, remote connectors. Very cool. And then the claw train, which sounds awesome. Uh, that's my favorite Aussie song. That's great. Just love it. All right, let's see. We've got two trucks being loaded again. Looks like they're doing whatever they can to load. Is there a way to make this one a priority? Uh, that one's medium priority. This one's high, so I don't know why they're loading that one first. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, let's see. Research is almost complete. We're getting there. Can we speed up time a little bit? Let's see this uh, take place. Looks like we can only pause. So we got to go, I guess, at the mercy of the game. Uh, we have all the drones we need except for one. I don't think we need any more, do we? I think we've got probably more than enough drones, but at least we got some left over for if we build over here. So we could probably build like another mining section here for more cash. But what we could probably do is eventually build a refinery here and then have the coal connect here and here and then have all refined coal come out uh, in several little lines here and then have it load automatically onto the trucks. It seems like the drones are the only way to load them so far. So, so far, so good. I guess we are making money. We are completing research. Things are going good. As for water, we're also going to have to unlock that too. So where would water be unlocked? Freight train, oil derrick. Maybe that mines water. Nope. Looks like it's just... Oh, gold fuel. It doesn't even mine oil. It, it drills for gold fuel. Okay. Interesting. Ah, here we are. Waterworks. Upgrades the capacity of machines in your colony by connecting them to your water system. So that's what we eventually want to research. So that's good. Okay. So are we close to claiming any research? Ooh, we're very close to claiming almost 20,000 research. Good. Then we can unlock our first thing, which has got to be the refiner slash factory. And how much will that cost when it comes time to build? Looks like that will cost us, uh, let's see, 10,000 for the refiner. So we can have all of these uh, come together. I wonder, I think we still need to bring the, I don't think we can bring a conveyor belt directly from here into the refiner. I think the drones still need to deliver it. I don't know if there's a loading section on the refiner for that, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's see. It says here, this must be built in a factory. Receives crates from input from a load station, step conveyor, or crate maker. So it looks like it can be de directly delivered. So we'll have to see if we can claim some points now. Oh, there we go. Look at that. 20,000. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and unlock our first tech which is going to be the refiner. Excellent, and now it's unlocked, and now we can start building that. What is this? Ah, so we put down a factory first. Oh, we have to lay out the factory floor. Oh, and we can actually color coordinate. Oh boy, this is gonna be an absolute mess. So it looks like we can build one of these inside of here. So I wonder if we put one refiner to one factory. Let's see how that works, instead of building one big one, because I don't know how quickly these are going to work. Oh, it looks like we can't do that. Mm. Also, it seems to be off a little bit. The grid is kind of a weird... Look at how you can't build it exactly in front of that. Re, It actually is on this weird side grid. So maybe we can make our conveyors go... Well, maybe we'll just have the drones do it. we got a million drones. Factory too small. Oh, that's why we have to build it like this. Except for... Oh, wow. Our first steps. So inside here, then, we can build multiple uh, buildings. So I guess we can build multiple refineries in here. Refiners? Oh, look at this. Oh! That's what the doorway was for. 
So this allows us to place a dual way for drones to come in or for a factory um, conveyor belt to come in. Oh, this is this links up really weird. Okay, well, let's build a uh, refiner then. Maybe the drones can fly through the door. I'm not sure. But it looks like we're going to need to build something. So in and out. So if we build... Let's just... Let's start with one just to keep it simple for now until I figure it out. So I wonder if we'll need another crate maker on the other side because... Let's see if that can actually... Yeah, it can accept a... Okay, maybe we'll need to move that a little bit. Alright, this is going to be interesting, isn't it? So if we build our refiner here, and if we build our crate maker, because it's probably going to burn the boxes. It looks like it takes another tube, though. Oh, it looks like this only takes tubes. Hmm. How do we put it back into a crate after it's refined? Looks like I'll need to make a loading bay here, too. So let's call it a load station. So we want drones to load from over here. Can't build here. It does look like it goes in that way. Well, let's make our factory a little bigger then. Maybe we can lock on to build another. Can we edit a factory and make it bigger? Uh, we can del delete a factory. Okay, there we go. So we get the money back for that. Okay, this is going to be a heck of a challenge now. Because now we got to play by the game's rules, which are a little strange because things don't link up perfectly yet. So we need to figure out a way to do that. So let's build a conveyor belt that goes in here. Oh, so apparently I can't build into the factory. We can't we can't load from the outside in. We have to have a drone come in and then drop it off on the load conveyor. Okay. So a drone should fly in, drop it off on the belt, then put it into the refiner, and then pick it up again because we can't put it into a crate maker again. So this should be our onload station. So let's go ahead and see if we can pick what goes in here. It is it is connected. So how would we tell it to drop off here? Let's go ahead and make the trucks a medium priority. So that way all the coal is refined now. So tr let's make trucks a medium priority. The conveyor belt here is a high priority. And then I wonder if I can get them... To okay, there it goes. So it looks like it produces... It takes regular coal and then makes it into advanced coal. So the drones have to come in there. So the, co the conveyor belt doesn't seem like it'll go in there. Unless I build minecarts. Let's see if the minecart could go in there. It looks like the minecart can pass through the threshold. So we'll have to start using minecarts then. And then also height level. So let's build another door and experiment with that. As we learn now. So let's go ahead and try this. I'm sure some of you have probably seen videos elsewhere. So you can try to help me out there too. But remember this is my first experience. So I haven't yet experienced everything yet. But it is pretty cool. Though even if we build a... Uh, if we build a train here. Let's say level 2... Oh, doesn't look like it's... Okay, so we can't build a train any higher than that. If I build a train in here, we're still going to need a, dr a drone to transfer it because I don't think we can put a, a ramp that will go up high and then, like, how do we switch it from a track to a conveyor, that kind of thing. Well, at least they are making more advanced coal. So they're taking coal now and converting that into uh, better coal, refined coal, so that's good. Look at all these research points we got sitting around here. Dude. We just made uh, 84,000 in research points. Oh, wow. Now we can start unlocking a lot of options. Unfortunately, we have to go in succession, so everything else from here on out is like 500,000 plus. So we need to make a lot of research points now. Uh, let's see. An unlock step conveyor, even though... Okay, maybe this is what we can use now for better efficiency. Let's try that. Ah, here we go. Moves crates in one second timed intervals. Doesn't trigger movement unless their held crate has a space to move to. Also, we could start using transfer claws. So instead of drones, we'll have to use transfer claws. But I don't think we can go fully conveyor. Let's see here. Ah, this is what we want the step conveyor for. Although I can't... can't must be built inside. Okay. So then we can build... Once they drop it off, we can actually take this for more materials. So we might be able to take one from here. How do we choose to split? If I want to take one at a time, for example. Can I move one from here to there? Interesting. I'm definitely going to have to toy around with this to find the best, most efficient way to load multiple refineries at once. I think we are making more money from this cargo, but the whole process is slow now. There's a huge uh, backup. 
Actually, it's not moving too bad. They're still loading coal if it's... Uh, oh, that's actually not bad. They're still loading, but still waiting on the conveyor. Also, they're putting some coal right back in there again. Is there a way to tell them only to take... Ah, oh, there we are. Take only coal ore. So we want coal ore. Ah, I see. So coal ore only, and then once it's done, it comes out the other side, and then it gets loaded on the trucks. That that looks so cool. Those factory buildings look awesome. That's really cool looking. I do like that. All right, let's get rid of this factory. So we get money back for that. That's cool. And then also for the uh, cart, too. Oh, we can actually add carts to that. I want to see how mine carts work. Oh, I've certainly got a lot to toy with. This is going to be awesome. All right, so we're making money from that. We're making uh, money from research, or rather, we're, we're making research points from that. So that's good. And we are still bringing in a little bit of the bucks. Is there a way to see our budget? How are we doing? How's the money? Uh, it doesn't look like I can see it. Uh, there it is. Uh, let's see. Previous month's revenue, 39000 Previous month's power and taxes were... <laughs> wow, we only made like $9,000. All right, how we how we dropping stuff off? Wow, we're at 234 kilograms. So what we want is stuff that weighs much more. So if we drop off... I guess the most exp expensive thing or the most uh, thing with the most weight is capacitors, so that's good. So if we drop off regular, let's see, coal, coal ore was one kilogram. Now that we're turning it into regular coal, it times it by 10. So we just increased our weight output by 10. That's awesome. Now we just need to speed up production so that way we can actually uh, make some more money. So the only way I really know how to do it is to build more of these conveyor belts here. Obviously not efficient, but see what we can do to make some more of these uh, conveyors. I think these actually need to be put next to each other, so let's try this. We need another refinery building. Oh, they need a little bit of space between them too, it seems. So the robots can't fly over them, they have to go through the spaces, so that's interesting. So let's load up some more of these. We want this to be an onload station or load station. Uh, these are load stations. Okay. Let's see if we can at least. This is a super cheap way to do it, but at least it'll make us some money. So we want it going in uh, here and here. That's good. That's good. Okay, well, hey, the basics are working. Another load station here. Oh, we're out of money now. All that extra power and stuff really cost us. Okay, and we need more truckloads to come through. Uh, yeah, they can't take all the coal, so let's turn these on high priority here. So it seems like the drones work off of priorities. So let's go medium priority is next to take it out of there. And then we'll put the trucks on low priority. So that way they're the last thing. So essentially this is like step one should be loading, step two is unloading, and step three is loading the trucks. So hopefully they do that in the, the correct order. We'll see how it works. Looks like stuff is coming out. Oh, good. But now we only want full ore going there. So that should tell them to load only the ore and then only pick up the uh, finished stuff. So let's see how that works. Looks like it's coming through. Okay. Well, I've salvaged it for the time being. I think it looks pretty good. All right, guys, that is it for our first look at this wonderful game. Again, if you guys want to download it, make sure you uh, check down below uh, in the title to find the full name of it. Again, uh, this uh, this automated empire is going to grow, and I appreciate all of you for all your helpful uh, tips and tricks. I'll learn some things as we go on by literally just playing the game, and uh, we're going to make ourselves some more money and, of course, some more research points, which we got just uh, piling right in. We're going to need more of that, though, and uh, until we unlock our next stuff where it's going to be a little bit of a drive. So coming up next, then, we've got cranes to work with planes and automobiles those being the uh, mine carts and everything else so good looks like all the refined ore is coming out now excellent i see nothing but dark coming through so that's good except for is that one dark yep it is okay cool all right guys i'll see you all next time thank you very much for dropping a like thanks for the positivity down below in the comment section and i'll see you all next time this is going to be big